Mets are still batting, no outs, and things are looking a little bit better. Let's go back to the studio now. Okay, Carl, thank you. Uh, rich man, poor man, a Mets fan is a Mets fan, and if you had tickets to tonight's game, you managed to make it out to Shea. But how you got there, well, may very well have depended on your pocketbook. We'll show you a couple of different routes. Some took the high road, and some took the subway. The cavernous expanse of Grand Central Station is the starting point for our whirlwind journey. Destination, Flushing. The hordes, the masses, the onslaught of humanity. Usually by this time of day, the people be coming home after work. Big room on their face and whatnot, but this is a more happy crowd. How many Mets fans do we have on this train? But is it really a New York crowd? They may look like a New York crowd, but they're half Boston. They visited the Big Apple's world-renowned museums with some of the finest examples of contemporary art in the Western Hemisphere. And they rode the subway. We're moving and it's clean and uh, everybody seems peaceful and friendly. Uh -huh. How many stops have you traveled so far? One. I think it's mostly New York here. Mostly Mets. Mostly Mets fans. Mostly Mets fans. Mostly Mets fans. Mostly Mets fans on the train, yeah. Red Sox. Yeah, I'm going to the game. You're going to the game? Yeah. Huh? yeah. I hope the Mets win. Man. Wearing your best stuff tonight, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's up warm, nice and warm. Yeah? Yeah. You got the ticket on you? No, I'm just scouting. You know, I'm going to buy one when I get there. Oh, you're going to buy one when I get there? <laughs> Shea Stadium glistens like a mountain lake in the autumn moonlight. The World Series special has arrived. And as the loyal hometown fans wend their way to the big ballpark, it's clear that New Yorkers are baseball batty. Well, most of them. <laughs> 